Hello my friends, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you 10 knife throwing bad habits or mistakes and I will tell you some important tips. So let's get started. So guys, my tip number one would be before you will actually attempt knife throwing, I would suggest to look on the knife throwing tutorials because for example me when I was starting I did this mistake I was not searching about knife throwing at all I just went outside and I was throwing and nothing was working and my experience from the first session was totally horrible so you can do otherwise you can check out for example my tutorials that I will show you right now on the screen check them properly and after you can go outside and your throwing will be definitely much better for the first session point number two would be buying cheap throwing knives this is definitely beginner mistake guys because instead of saving for one really good uh, set for example like these stingers we have them now on the Amazon Prime you're gonna waste your precious money and you're gonna buy several sets of cheap throwing knives you can see this one are even broke today so they are definitely horrible and your progress guys will go nowhere so for example for the start I would suggest to have maybe one cheaper set like these Gil Hibbons but after some time I would definitely suggest to go for something better and have professional competition throwing knives because otherwise you're just gonna waste your money and your skills will not go progress and go nowhere. So definitely go with the professional throwing knives. And what is also big mistake, and that's point number three, is mixing too many techniques and too many throwing knives. Because for example, when I was starting, I went for the competition and I quickly realized I am definitely not consistent and not accurate. So guys, from the start, definitely pick one set of knives and only one technique and give it at least several months and I can guarantee you, your skills will go rapidly high. So that was the point number three and now let's move on. And what I also see, a lot of beginners are rushing on the long distance. This is definitely a big mistake guys. So from the start, definitely just throwing on two three maximum four meters and give it some time don't rush on the long distances otherwise the throw will under rotate or over rotate i can guarantee you you maybe can make like a one lucky stick but it's definitely to be consistent up to seven meters rather than make like a one lucky stick from 12. okay guys so practice short distances and wait for longer ones but i can tell you after some time you can definitely do it another bad habit or mistake would be definitely throw in the wrong area so for example guys imagine i would like to throw on this dead tree and you have these uh, branches everywhere so if i would miss my knife would definitely fell into this uh, pile of the branches and I would have big problem. Also during the winter there is snow, during the fall there are many leaves. So you definitely choose your area where you're gonna throw. So I would definitely suggest to have for example um, like a throwing nets behind that we have on the Acejet website or some kind of plywood. Main important is to throw in some safe area without other persons around and save your knife and don't lose them so keep that in mind what I really don't like to see and it's definitely a big problem is throwing on the live trees guys so if you are a beginner or advanced thrower it doesn't matter definitely don't do this because in forest you have so much more options dead trees stumps you can even find these from the woodcutters or if you really want, you can go for the professional targets that we have, for example, now at the Ace Jet official as well. 
So, like I said, guys, don't throw on the live trees. Pick whatever you want, but don't do that. Definitely much cool to have the professional setup. Another bad habit or mistake is throwing with very little energy or using so much force into the throw. It's definitely a big mistake, guys. You have to figure it out what works best for you and find the neutral place that is going to work. So less energy is bad. Also too much force is definitely not necessary, necessarily especially for the long distances. So pick your neutral and use it for a longer time. In knife throwing world, it's possible to throw everything with sharp point, but it's definitely a mistake uh, where I also often see guys are throwing their EDCs. It's a big problem because they are sharp and in the knife throwing we are using only the, knife, only the dull knife. So you can actually cut yourself, cut your fingers and after several throws you can easily break the locking mechanism if you miss. It's definitely possible to stick them, but I would definitely suggest to have professional throwing knives for that because those you're definitely not gonna break. But now, let's move on. What is also a bad habit that young thrower is doing, all the more advanced throwers, is overthinking, guys. So it's best to just go clear your mind, focus on the target and have a fun. Don't overthink the techniques, what you were doing in the job or something like that. Just have a good time. And what works for me, for example, I am listening to music. When I'm listening to music, I feel totally present in the moment and I'm just throwing my knives. But for you, it could be something else. So you have to, again, figure it out what is going to work for you. Last but not least, and I can see that in every type of sport, is to give up, guys. This is the definitely biggest mistake that you can do for your knife throwing career. I have seen a lot of really great throwers or they have good potential, but they went to the certain point and they starting to losing the interest for the knife throwing because for example they couldn't stick at six seven meters it really takes a long time so definitely don't give up guys knife throwing like the other sport takes a lot of time and skills to develop yourself and it's definitely worth it if you're gonna spend that time because after you will have so much fun you will learn uh, many techniques and you can for example um, know the people for the rest of your life that you're gonna find in the knife throwing community and for example for me as well when I was in the hospital during the chemotherapy and stuff like that knife throwing was definitely one of the only thing that I was looking forward to so definitely don't give up guys have a fun and learn new things <laughs> So what do you think about it guys? Let me know in the comment section below what was your mistake when you were starting throwing knives. But for today, that's it. So thank you everyone for watching, share, like, comment, subscribe and see you next time.